All right, here we go. Aphelio Vive for Live Sandbox. I really think this is very bad. I mean, it might just end up being Milio Jinx. And if it's Milio Jinx and then Live Sandbox get a hold of an Enchanter, maybe the draft isn't as bad for Live Sandbox, but okay. I mean, at this point, you choose an Enchanter. You could even actually choose Senna right now. Yeah, okay, Yumi. Yep. This is actually a winning line for Live Sandbox for sure. Now, the only thing that I am worried about is that it is uh, Kyle. <coughs> So the amount of control words that he buys on Yumi is actually probably going to stun Yumi from being as oppressive as she should be. So I think right now the draft is somewhat even, and literally the only reason is because it's Yumi versus Milio. Okay, Syndra is really bizarre, because I think that now what's happening is Annie has the ability to go Ludens, and she's going to be able to one-tap everyone on Live Sandbox. Now, I doubt that we're going to get any sort of like ingenious Hunter Annie type stuff. Varuk is really interesting. Just because he can go Ardent Sensor. Oh, Draven. He's going to try to play really aggressive. The only the only thing that Milio... Like, Draven, Draven, Milio... I don't even understand what the perp... I mean, I guess Draven gets a lot of AD, so Milio's E. Like, the passive has value there. This is a weird team comp by, by Dom1. Live Sandboxer, honestly, they're, they're in a pretty okay position. Yeah, the Cho'Gath, the Cho'Gath's actually a really good pick here. Live Sandbox, I mean, their, their team composition is pretty okay the champions for dom one individually the champions are all really strong <coughs> but when you look at everything comprehensively you end up realizing like what is the identity here what 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 is like i guess annie's gonna go pure glass cannon they're gonna try to get draven reset they're gonna try to get viego possessions and they'll try to play that way but it's still just really bizarre i don't know okay so some one, one thing that is very weird is the doron's blade on teddy is very bizarre because Draven and Milio, the way that their play pattern is, is they do not kill you. They take very small burst trades and then eventually look for lethal. So I don't I don't understand the D-Blade on Teddy. The long short three red potion would just provide inherently more sustain. And you're playing with Yumi as well. Yeah, I, just, I really don't get it. Oh my lord. All right. All right, here we go. Let's rotate for Herald as a scaling team comp. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Let's draft Yumi. Cho'Gath. Nice. 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 Let's force Herald. Let's force Herald when our champions are threatening to outscale the opponents. And then fight them early. Nice. Really good. That was really good, actually, yeah. Now, a huge, huge, huge edge. Huge edge for Dom1. They just have a 2,000 gold lead. They have the first Hextech Dragon. Tibbers trying to stop the recall. Nice by Showmaker. He's able to pull the dragon back. Because, like, the Essence Reaver, Infinity Edge, etc. type builds isn't really changed... I would just imagine that Infinity Edge still is, like, hitting hard. Yeah, I don't know. We're taking a look at the replay, obviously. The flash forward there by Showmaker. <coughs> I mean, the R comes out. Not enough damage there by Closer because he doesn't have Sork Pen Boots. He has Merc Treads, etc. Double kill. Four depth in the fight. I mean, it's just it's an insufferably bad rotation. Oh, my lord. All right. Teddy is a little bit overextended. There's a knockup. That's the bounce house as well. And I, wait, why is, okay, Yumi, Yumi finally gets off, but is it too late? Okay. Manages to actually dismount. 3,000 gold lead as they are now down here in bottom. Getting more and more plates on depth. He has the Trinity Force, has that story to Dirk as well. Milio with the magical boots almost has the Shirelias. Yumi, very, very, very far behind. Closer is building Leandres with the Merc Treads. A little bit of a rough situation here. Dude, I literally just realized. Okay, so the first series ended over an hour ago, right? Something like that. The fan meet for the teams are still going. The line is massive. It is crazy. It is so nuts. Willer flashes away. Closer now is also probably going to try to flash away, but it, ah, he's not even going to flash. He's just dead. Cinder's about to get touched by Viego. 
Okay. Four kills now for Dom Juan, 4,000 gold lead, and it just really looks like Lip Sandbox are not doing anything. All right, Morello completed on Annie. I, it's, it's so sad to see, it really is. I mean, you, you do get the flat M pen. It's just a really sad item to see. All right. Oh, Willer does get hit, but hold on, Canyon. Okay, Showmaker, gonna be a little bit careful, Willer. <laughs> Okay, Willer is going to get brought down. Oh my lord, look at the damage coming out from Deft. Alright. And now they're going to end up just getting themselves the Infernal Soul. Live Sandbox, they do... They, they, so the, the thing is, is that Don Juan's team composition, it is really hard for them to push without Baron because their champions are all so short range, they have no siege capabilities. They do need Baron, but as soon as they have the Baron, they're just going to pulverize Lib Sandbox. Okay, hold on. Baron? I don't think Willer could get in there. Wait, why aren't they just finishing? Wait, Willer didn't have flat. Okay, never mind. They're just going to. Oh my god, they're just going to go in. Oh, Brittle didn't go down. Okay, never mind. Death is going to actually get the kill. Okay, Cinder's going to get brought down now as well. Oh my god. Canyon. With the Syndra. Scatter the weak. Syndra Z, by the way. I, I knew that. Ah, there's just no way. The, the, the annoying thing, though, is that Don Juan's team comp can't shove. You guys can see the, the, the weaknesses of it. But okay, they are going to catch out closer. With the Scion ultimate. The Baron's still a minute and a half. So I guess if Liv Sandbox actually in like this. Yeah. If they, if, so if Willer, if, if, if like, if they forget that they don't deal damage and all they can do is clear minions, then there's a chance that the game will actually end. It's 10 to 0 right now. This was almost a perfect game, by the way. Almost. If it wasn't for the mid and top turret this was almost a perfect game Bertle now gonna go down oh my god oh Woo oh defiled wow wow, 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 wow. all right well that was uh yeah that was uh, guys you know what close game Close game. It's definitely not going to be a 2-0, guys. Uh, yeah. Definitely not. Cope. <laughs> Copium. Definitely not 2-0. Definitely not. So the bot lane... Okay. So in terms of who I think has a better draft, obviously I do think that it's Dom 1. I don't understand how Live Sandbox is supposed to be able to win this game. True. All right. Oh, my God. Deft. Okay. Kellen is also... Okay. Double kill for te uh, Teddy. Very, very big. I mean, that's exactly... Okay. I mean, the double kill is super big for Teddy. Yeah, I guess if Varus actually manages to get far enough ahead, he's like one of the only chances that they can win. Because even if Jax gets big enough, they can always stifle him with Poppy and Maokai. They can always stifle him. Okay. Now, Deft building Dirk is like terrible. Because Lucian with Nami, if he builds Stormraiser and he builds Rapid Fire, he can build he can do up to forty percent magic damage. True. And at level nine he only gets eight armor pen from Serrated Dirk. True. No, but when you're when you're dealing so much magic damage as a champion as Lucian, Serrated Dirk is such a joke of an item. It's really, really, really bad. Oh my... Uh, guys, look away. Look away, look away. Okay. Oh my god. Oh no, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, it's a disaster. Oh, it's a disaster. Oh my god. Showmaker does get knocked out of his flight, but still. Oh wow, he's. Wow! Well, that was 
That was really interesting. I've never seen someone do that without Rylize just to min max damage. Well, that's really smart. I mean, obviously, like, it, it's just something that's super obvious, what, what, you know, when you think about it. I mean, I don't know why Teddy just flashed Canyon into his teammates. And then Showmaker, I, 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 I guess he could have actually played this a little bit better. Closer knocking him on a flight is obviously good. Harvard is so excited. You should have seen his face fucking light up when Don Juan just <laughs> won that fight. So Don Juan, I mean, they're in a pretty okay position. They have a gold lead. They have a lot more scaling than the opponents. The only scary thing is that Teddy still has all the gold. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, Birdall. Okay, takes a little bit more damage here. And Kana, obviously, with the grasp of the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. Hold on. Let him cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. <gasps> Let him cook. Oh, my... How does this keep happening? How does Canyon keep getting these absolute cheater... He's, he's cheating. He's cheating. Yeah, he's cheating. Yeah, it's like meeting Buzz Lightyear, yeah. It's like Toy Story comes to life. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Canyon manages to get the Rift Herald. Big fight. Skies descend. Holy shit. It's like going to the toilet with a laxative, my lord. Oh my god, he's trying to slow him. He is managing to slow him. Closer. He's barely going to be able to get away. I just don't think there's anything Lib Sandbox can actually do. Okay. I mean, we take a look at how this all transpires. Like, realistically, Closer just gets caught and pinned. It's so difficult for Liv Sandbox's team composition. Like, what is their team comp? Is it poke? No, because Varus is on hit and attack speed. Is it pick? No, not really, because there's no follow-up to the pick. What is the follow-up? Is it, is it, like, what, is it split push? No, because they can't actually split push. Their champions can't split. Okay. Is it siege? No, because Varus isn't lethality. So, what, like, their team comp is just a combination of random champions that are also theme countered by Dom Wands. I don't know, man. It's, it's a rough game. It's a very, very rough game. This is just a... It's a, it's a quick 2-0, boys. Quick 2-0. Okay. Closer! Oh my god, the skies descend! Catches Jace Talus from behind. Oh my lord. Wouldn't we all like to do that? What? Alright, it's a three and a half thousand gold lead. Everything's fine. Okay, so I don't understand why Kana is not just going over to the bar. Oh my god, he's gonna actually make it out. Okay, Baron is completed because Aurelian Soul just melts it. Okay, Teddy. Okay. Okay, he gets completed by Aurelian Soul. Alright, guys, this game's over. This game is Jover. All right, Liv Sandbox had an okay start, but honestly, their comp is utter, <laughs> utter garbage. And as soon as Dom Juan was able to stabilize that one time with the fight at, what, the the Brush Brillo Gromp, right, where Canyon just got the hero engage and Showmaker followed up, the game was just so doomed. Harvard is like hoping, he's, he's, oh my lord, he looks on intently. Praging, right, oh my god, he's hoping. Oh my, his face is glued to the screen right now. <laughs> oh my lord, wait, 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 wait. Oh, Cannon goes in. Oh my god, the skies. Oh my, wait, the skies did not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Harvard, holy sh. Oh man. For sure, Dirk at level 9 gives 8 armor pen. True. So you know. All right, Nautilus, oh my lord! My god almighty. Birdall goes down, Closer goes down. That's going to be the end of the game, guys. Kana is coming in, manages to get the ping on, pin on to Kyle. Their showmaker with the final kill. Okay, slows Willer. That is it. In Twitch chat, that is going to be it for the first IRL co-stream, I do believe. I think we ended up giving away... How much did we give away today? $300? I mean, people might leave and, like, see the sign, you know what I mean? Oh, that might... Oh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, minutes. we'll save for five... Yeah, we'll save for, like, five minutes as people are leaving now. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Not that I would... Okay. They're going to get it. See, they're getting barren. All right. 
They got Baron. Now they're going to end the game. Take a look. Take a look, Joe. Oh, my God. Look at Aurelian Soul. Oh, my Lord. Did you see what he just did? Oh, 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 oh. I think it's Jover. I think it's Jover. Oh, my God. Even the cannon's getting in on it, Joe. That cannon's worth 90 gold right now, by the way. Uh, it also currently has 425 movement speed right now. Because cool. uh, the game timer passed 25 minutes. <laughs> Just wanted you to know that, Joe. <laughs> All right, let's see if anyone comes out. All right, it's Joe. 